Hello, YouTube. How is everybody out there? Well, this is my second day in a row I've done a video. The first one was a really big Charlie Fox trot, and I think I finally got it right. In my editing, let me take these off. In my editing, um, I had two different files two different types of files. I, I didn't change it over to MP4 um, like my beginning is, so everything was off key. So I think I've got that fixed. I re-put up the video, which you all probably have seen already. There were a couple questions. Oh, and by the way, Suze, Susie from Susie's Full-Time Van Life, tell Chris you know, I used to rock a, a flannel shirt back in the day when I was 20, 21, and I'm still rocking it in skinny jeans, even at my age. So tell them to just hush and uh, not only dykes wear <laughs> flannel shirts. I've been wearing flannel shirts for years. As a matter of fact, if if I ever dated a man and he had a flannel shirt, I begged for it and ended up with it. And that's been going on for years when I was young. And no, I'm not a dyke. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do this video before my pills kick in. Because I've been doing them kind of late and, and my... Uh, pills kick in and kind of make me a little goofy. This is take 10, by the way. I've been trying to do this since 3 o'clock this afternoon. Between my phone ringing and, uh, well, it was my phone ringing. I had to turn it off and turn it off. And there were a couple ones that I just <laughs> didn't like. So, this one is not a no-go it's it's going in there one uh, before I had to delete my other video and redo it um, I got asked by somebody about a pure uh, sine wave inverter now a pure sine wave inverter uh, has a nice smooth uh, electrical pattern to it whereas a regular or a modified is square it goes up like that and goes down now for charging up the appliances nowadays uh, they say the sine wave has less surges or less interference in it and it's not apt to ruin your equipment. Now, I do know people who do not have si pure sine wave inverters that are working just fine. So I can't say one way or another because I don't have experience. As far as a 1500 watt goes, um, I'm thinking now I should have got 2000 watt, but um, I may end up uh, putting in a second battery bank eventually and some more solar panels and um, I will get another 1500 or 2000 watt inverter in order to because this this system that I have and unless I upgrade the um, charge controller uh, can only take 400 amps of uh, or, or, yeah, 440 amps, I'm sorry, 30 amps. Whew. Well, I need to just slow down a little bit. Um, now, I can't make any recommendations based on knowledge and of, of me doing it. I am going by the YouTubers that I've been watching that are using pure sine wave inverters. Now, years ago, they used to be very expensive. Now they're becoming cheaper and cheaper, and, and, and I got this one for under $200. So, um, 
you know, uh, I can say because I have an RV and I want to run a microwave and with my stove running, I'm going to have to downgrade my microwave because this is uh, 1250 watts. And it'll work on the inverter, but I won't be able to run anything else when I'm running the microwave if I have enough battery power. So I won't be able to do that unless it's real sunny out. Um, I'm going to be fixing my generator. My generator runs long enough to, to run the the, um, the microwave or anything that I need to, to run, like my coffee pot. Uh, I may be able to run that on solar if I have a big enough inverter and big enough battery bank. So, um, you have to excuse me. My allergies are bothering me. Um, so I can't give you advice on that because I'm, I'm not an expert. I do know that it is better. It is said to be better to use pure sine wave rather than a modified sine wave uh, due to the fact that it's better for your computers, cell phones, and TVs or whatever else you want to plug into it. So uh, that you'll have to do a Google search on. Maybe maybe one day I'll... I'll uh, write a vlog on it and and, and uh, put it on a website and um, us women can can look back and, and see what it says. I'll probably plagiarize a little bit by taking other people's ordeals. Here's one thing I found to be a good thing. Um, I bought this at the dollar store. It was only a dollar. It's a, mo a moisture eliminator. If you have propane heat, it it lets off moisture um, so I'm running a <laughs> I'm, run, I'm running my little buddy heater so it's already soaking up moisture because this is uh, getting getting sucked now this was just a dollar you can get I've got an Arm & Hammer one uh, that I paid $4 for at Walmart. And if this turns out to be okay, I will stock up at the Dollar Tree on these for a dollar. Now, these used to run loose. Now they're starting to get tight. They're starting to soak up moisture. And eventually, there'll be water building up on the bottom of this. So, um, We'll see how that one goes. If it goes well, I will stock up at a dollar a piece. You can't go wrong. Um, what else was I going to say? My solar panels will not be here until the 5th. So, um, it's not like I'm going to do anything with them anyway now. But I want to find... The piping or whatever it is to make a frame to put the solar panels on first and um, I think Lowe's or Home Depot has some uh, I just need L channels uh, I think you know that way you can put the Z bracket on it and I, I, I don't know but I don't want now that I look at it the Z brackets have two holes in them some of them do which in turn that would be 32 holes and not 16 so no no that's not happening it's an old RV um, I don't need <laughs> I don't need issues so um, I wanted to do this again before my medicine started kicking in and, and, and I get more goofy than I already am and um, when I take the battery bank out uh, is when I will change out the um, solenoid, the continuous solenoid. And that charges your batteries up as you're running down the road. Um, 
when you turn your engine off, it shuts off and it and it stops charging. It's an isolator. So I turn my engine on, um, the isolator turns on, the alternator charges the batteries as you're driving down the road, you turn the key off, and it disconnects. So it won't suck any life out of your out of your engine battery. And I think mine is stuck open because I'm charging my batteries or, or got them on maintain. And it seems to be maintaining my... I'm going to end up needing a new cab battery because sometimes it's a slow start. But um, I wanted to make this video short. It's 10 minutes. Um, and I just wanted to let you know I, it'll be the 5th before I get my panels. And explain a little bit about the sine wave inverter. Um, I may put a link to a description in this somewhere down the road. It won't be tonight. Because, you know, I just found out I like Sprite Zero over Diet 7-Up. That's, that's better than Diet 7-Up. I didn't think I'd ever say that. But, um, oh, also, I don't know if you can see this. Let me, let me turn this light on and turn this one on. Oh, no, nope, can't turn that one on. I took the light bulb off. But I'm going to tilt this camera so you can see my cabinets and my nice little coffee clock. And in order to organize, I put the shelf in. There wasn't anything here, so everything had to be stacked on. So I put this shelf in, and I bought, I went to Big Lots and bought some of these uh, containers. And this is where I'm putting my food. I'm on a low-carb diet because of my blood sugar. No, I'm not diabetic. I'm hypoglycemic, and, and my blood sugar goes low if I eat high in carb foods. So I've been stocking up on the sun kiss flavored tuna and having that with a little bit of crackers. And uh, But the bottom shelf is my food. And right now the top shelf is plastic containers that would go flying around um, when I'm driving. The other side, on the other hand, isn't as organized because it's got my electric frying pan and such. Uh, I've got a couple more. Once I put a shelving system in the one above the computer, I will be about, well, I've got wire shelves, but they're not working out too well because there's a lot of wasted space there. And that's where my first aid kit is and... Um, um, one is first aid, one is office, and that's all I could fit in there is two. So, um, this is a good investment. It's like $2.50 a piece. Uh, very lightweight. And I can, uh, cannot remember what YouTuber had it on, but... This has got a lip on it, so I'm not worried about this flying out. And that's another thing. I, I, I drove to, to empty out the black tanks, and nothing came flying out here. I'm going to have to put a lip here because this can still fly out a little bit when I open it up. But these can't go anywhere. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. It makes a little bit organized. And in this corner cabinet here, I think I may get a Lazy Susan um, in order to uh, put my canned goods and stuff. Not my canned goods, but my spices and, and everything else I need. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, please, oh, wait a minute. Got to show the boy up close. Hang on. Come here, baby boy. Come on, everybody wants to say hello to Collide.
That's a good boy. Sit down. Sit. Let me move this down a little bit more so you can so you can see him. Say hi, Clyde. It's Clyde's time for bed, and and uh, I'm talking, and it's it's upsetting him a little bit. Come on. No, you don't want to. He may have to go potty. But that big old honking owl is outside again, and I have to go out there with a flashlight to scare the owl away. Um, I called a neighbor. She's got a little chihuahua, a little tiny chihuahua that she lets out about 11 o'clock at night. And I warned her. I said, look, I said, we've got a big owl hanging around. Please, please do not let your dog out by himself after dark because... Um, uh, the lady that lives here that I'm staying on in, in her backyard, the owl tried to get her, the owl tried to get her, um, she had a tiny Yorkie and, um, so yeah, we got to be careful of that. So y'all have a blessed day. Please like, subscribe, share, help me let this channel grow. Um. If not for anything else, for Mr. Clyde, he likes showing off. He gets a little jealous when I go to talking on this thing. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.